This short animated video explains the basic concept of simple linear regression using the least square method. I have explained this topic with help of some relevant examples. So don't go anywhere else. Just sit back, relax and enjoy this video on linear regression. What is regression? So before you understand this term, let us understand if there is any relationship between the increase in temperature and the sales of ice cream. What do you think? If the temperature increases, should the sales of ice cream increase or decrease? Or vice versa, like if the temperature decreases, should the sales of ice cream increase or decrease? Is there any relationship between temperature rise and sales of ice cream? Let's take another example. Like you have so many cars. So assuming that different types of car that you own, is there any relationship between the car's type and the average that you get from each car? Still confusing? So now what do you think? Is there any relationship between these two variables? What do you think? Is yes or no? The answer to this is yes. They are related to each other. Now let us understand this in bit more detail. So simple linear regression in simple words is a statistical technique that help us understand and quantify the relationship between two variables. It allows us to determine how change in one variable affects the another variable. Simple linear regression help us make predictions and gain insights by identifying the underlying relationship between two variables. Like every day, we make some kind of personal and professional decisions that are based on some predictions of future event. To make this forecast, we rely on relationship between what is already known to you today and what needs to be estimated. So that is why we have two variables exactly here in linear regression. One independent variable which is denoted by x and one dependent variable offered denoted by y. Now let us see what is the regression equation looks like, which is denoted by y equal to b0 plus b1x, where b0 denotes the y-intercept or the value at which the regression line crosses the vertical axis when x equal to 0. b1 denotes the slope of regression line or the change in the value of y for every one unit of x y is a dependent variable here or the response variable because it depends upon the response value of x while x here is an independent variable the straight line that you see is the regression line and its equation is known as the regression equation so regression analysis finds the equation of a line that best describes the relationship between two variables now let us look at the different sources of variation. Total variation, SST. This comprises of two components. Regression sum of square, SSR, which quantifies the variation that is due to the relationship between the independent and the dependent variable X and Y. And this is also known as explained variation. As the name implies, explained variations can be explained by the relationship between x and y the formula for it is summation ssr is equal to summation y hat i minus y bar ka whole square that is it is equal to the summation of square difference between the predicted y value using the regression equation and the mean value of y the other component is the error sum of square noted by sse which quantifies the variation that is due to other factors apart from the relationship between x and y. This is called as unexplained variations. So unexplained variations cannot be explained by relationship between x and y. It is given by SSE is equal to summation yi minus yi hat square. That is sum of square of the differences between the y value of each order pair and each corresponding predicted y value. Now, now we have no SSR and SSE. 
now we will calculate sst which is nothing but the summation of these two ssr plus sse so sst is a total sum of square that is the sum of explained and unexplained variations that is the sst or sst total now let us understand the least square method let's see how we find it uh, using graphically so we have these three terms sst ssr and sse we plot it on the x axis and y axis that depend on independent variables we plot y bar we plot the best fit line from regression equation we plot the y hat we point individual points here then we plot so this is now what we calculate the ssr which is the regression sum of squares and then we have this SSE, which is the error sum of squares. And then total includes the SST, which is the total sum of squares, which is sum of explained and unexplained variations. Now let us see how do we calculate residuals or what is residual first of all. So residual is the difference between the observed value and the predicted value. So this is my first uh, value or point, data point, and this is the positive residual. So if the data points fall above the regression line, the result is said to be positive. If it's fall on the line, it is zero. And if it's fall below the regression line, it is the negative residual error. So this result basically is a data point that usually don't fall on the best fit line. And they are always scattered around the best fit line. The residual is a vertical distance between the data point that you see either on other side and the regression line and where y bar is the average value of dependent variables in these formulas y i is the observed value of dependent variables and y i hat is the predicted value of y for given value of x i let us look at the regression equation y equal to p naught plus b one x or y is equal to mx plus c these both are one and same equations we need to estimate b0 and b1 b0 is nothing but the y-intercept or the value at which the regression line crosses the vertical axis when x is equal to 0 and b1 is the slope of regression line y is a dependent or response variable and x is the independent variable now how do we calculate slope b1 or m here so b1 or m is basically n summation x y minus summation x into summation y divided by n summation x square minus summation x ka whole square so that is how you calculate the slope or m b1 now how do you calculate intercept b0 or c here b0 you can calculate y minus b1 into x so let's see this using some examples now let's look at the simple example the following data represents the number of hours 12 by 12 different students who watched television during the weekend and the score of each student who took the test following Monday. So we need to find the equation of a regression line and use the equation that we found. We need to expect find the expected score of student who watched nine hours of television. So this is the data that we're given. So we have 10 hours and the test scores are accordingly. So we need to find is it the equation of regression line and the test score who watch nine hours for television. So we calculate first the x y x being the independent variable y being the dependent variable. So we multiply x into y we get zero into ninety six as zero. Similarly we do it for all the lines and then we get all the x y for each variable. Now we need to calculate x square. So we calculate square each uh, terms. So we get all these values here. Then we need to get y square 9216, which is the test score and six square. Similarly, we do it for everyone. So that is we calculate where it is fill this table. Now we need to calculate what is that summation y. So all the value of y, we sum it up, we get 908. Summation xy 3724. Similarly, summation x square is 332, summation y square is 70836. And we'll use these values in the formulas ahead. 
Now let's first calculate the slope m. We'll put all the values and get, get slope as minus 4.067. So slope is negative here. I will show you how. B is equal to y bar minus m x bar. So we calculate uh, B as 908 by 12 minus of minus slope minus 4.067 into 54 by 12. And we get B as 93.97. Let's plot this in the graph where x denote the r's watching independent variable and y denotes the dependent variable. And a regression equation comes to as y bar is equal to minus 4.07 x plus 93.97. So using the equation that we have calculated y bar is equal to minus 4.07 x plus 93.97, we can predict the test score for student who has watched nine hours of television. We put the value of x as 9, we get y as 57.34. This shows a student who watched 9 hours of television over the weekend can expect to receive a score of 57.34 on Monday test. So if you are still watching this video, let's have a quick quiz. First question, in the symbol linear regression equation, what does the slope of the regression line represents? The mean value of dependent variable, the standard deviation of the dependent variable, the change in the dependent variable for one unit change in the independent variable, and D is the correlation coefficient between the independent and the dependent variable. Second question, which of these following best describe the simple linear regression? A statistical technique used to analyze the relationship between the multi-independent variables and the dependent variable. A method used to predict future outcome based on historical data. A linear regression equation used to model the relationship between the two variables by fitting a straight line to the data points. A process of measuring the accuracy of predictions made by regression model. Third question, how many coefficient do you need to estimate a simple linear regression model? One independent variable, two, three or four? You can leave your answers in the comment section.